Hey, I'm at a small city in the state of Ohio, and this is a fountain that's outside of the courthouse. And I want you to notice that the fountain corresponds to the tower of the courthouse. I talked about the three planes of existence in that video. So I'd like to refer you over to that video on the three planes of existence as symbolized in the tower in front of a courthouse. But it's the same idea here in this fountain. Now, it looks to me that at the top of this fountain, there's supposed to be a pineapple. And notice how the water comes out of the pineapple. All right. Now what comes to my mind is this could be a pun on the idea and the concept of Canaan land or the promised land as a land flowing with milk and honey. It was supposed to be a land of fruit and also flowing with milk and honey. Now just a little sort of comment that is in parentheses. The, the Hebrew verb for flowing um, in the idea of flowing with milk and honey is actually a verb that can be used in the uh, process of, of a man joining with a woman. All right? So here we have, again, the same idea, the three heavens or the three planes of existence. The first plane is the visible. You can see with your eyes the sun, the moon, the stars above you. The second plane is the invisible whereby the powers and principalities that are utilized by the devil and also utilized by witches and warlocks and Satanists and occultists exist. And then the third realm is where God himself dwells. And that's the realm that the devil wants forever and ever. But the good news of the Bible is God is still there in, in, on his throne and the good news of the Bible is the devil's not going to get it. But while we're still in this age, the devil is going to try to steal that, to steal that throne. Read Isaiah chapter 14, okay? He wants to be like the Most High, but he will not get it. Now that's why the word New World Order is so important because the New World Order represents the close of this age and the start of the age to come. And the age to come belongs exclusively to the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And it cannot be taken away by the devil or by the occultist or by the Satanist or by the rulers in this world or by the kings of this earth or anything. And you will see the climax of all of this in the book of Revelation, whereby the, the merchants of the earth join with the kings of the earth, and they try to overthrow the whole system and try to get control of the whole system forever and ever. But it's not going to happen, because Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And no matter what attempts will be made by the devil, or by the powers and principalities, or by the occultist. The age to come belongs exclusively to the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And to Him be all praise, honor, and glory. Thank you for watching.